I'll make sure he gets it. <laughs> okay. Uh, with contrast and feeling, our guidance. With contrast and feeling, our guidance system, and our guidance system, there are many health issues in the world. It could be said that there's a major cause of interest in that area, and every single person is born with a natural gift. Is it possible that each person's gift is particularly useful in resolving individual health issues? Well, you could say that there is a universal vortex and so everything that everybody is living is going into that universal vortex but individuals are creating their own reality and any time that you start trying to make everything a big collective issue that's when you get all balled up because then you feel like you need to get the cooperation of the others and what they're about involved and that will never happen so if you can just separate yourself from what you think everybody else is living and what everybody else is wanting and just focus upon the things that your own life produces for you and then teach to the clarity of example how easy it is and how comfortable it is to get what you want then through your example others may follow mm. I'm not sure if that quite answers my question because uh, did okay I'm aware of a process that finds a person's natural gift that they were born with so I'm but that implies that you made all of the decisions about this experience before you got here and that's just not true your natural gift if you want us to identify something singular like that your natural gift is alignment Oh, so that would be a no then that there's that if they have this gift that they might create everyone's born with it and utilize it in a yeah. varying degree and so they could get whatever health issue but it doesn't necessarily relate to a contrast that they You're making intended. it so much more complicated than it needs to be. <laughs> I do that okay <laughs> this question would you consider letting me interview you you just did okay <laughs> Maybe that's a question for Esther's scheduling. Okay, well, I'll, and she's I'll, really can, busy having a lot of no. fun. Okay, well, I'll, I can send you information. If you uh, promise fun. Oh, absolutely. Then she might consider. Uh, yeah, because I've done some things around similar to what you have done, but I've called it different things. Like I've called it uh, law of success around we create our own reality. That we're powerful and we create. Good title. Yeah. Love success and love success meaning love being happy, love joy. Yeah. What's next? Um, See the clock. <laughs> Have you ever read these questions? Before? Yes. I, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I just want to see if you already answered them, right? So that we don't have to, we can be. Um, Everyone in this room could have answered all of these questions okay. today. That's how tuned in they are. Okay. In terms of being, doing, and having, and the ultimate contrast of wanting everything and not wanting anything from each of those areas, I arrived at this very, it's kind of like an awesome feeling where my resistance disappeared, where a total interest from authorities for my contribution went from hooking me like having like like I had a lot of disinterest from all sorts of areas to me being perfectly okay with it can you comment on that or? did anybody follow that in any way <laughs> shape or form uh, so and the reason is because you're not set up to comprehend everything at once life comes to you a subject at a time and an experience at a time and you put it in your vortex and then it evolves and it becomes more and then you come into alignment and then you're guided to it in other words it's trying to consider too much at once and many of the things will just say to you simply many of the things sort of contradict other things so there's no clarity that can come out of that okay what that was about is uh, I've uh, actually tried to make contributions like to medicine or uh, mental health with other organizations and I got from what you said before about people not being interested at all that helped um, what, what's really happening is this is a wonderful way to wrap this up too because it's what we've been sort of going for all day and this is a really good demonstration of that so in any moment in time 
you have some relationship with your true power you sort of understand that yes with your relationship with your vortex you're in some degree of receptivity some degree of being in the receiving mode it varies and more and more you work to make sure that you're in the receptive mode you meditate more and you make lists of positive aspects and most of all you become aware of if this is satisfying or if it's not so what happens to you once you've accomplished that and it won't take you more than a week or so to really get that figured out for yourself that this felt satisfying and that not so much and this feels even more satisfying and that not so much so that you encourage law of attraction to respond to the more satisfying feelings then most of your response most of your impulse most of the things that you decide to do most of that feeling of I'm gonna donate to this or I'm gonna contribute my time to this or I'm gonna go participate with this those impulses come then because you're in the receptive mode which means source has guided you to slam dunk after slam dunk after slam dunk because you have asked source source knows what you're asking for source knows even more clearly than you do exactly what you want and now you're in the receiving mode the impulse you receive will really have good payoffs that will be obvious to you as you move along and they will parlay into more and more and more and more and more but if you are under the influence of a problem or under the influence of seeking something that you haven't found and from that influence you are inspired to give now it just sort of peters out it's a bottomless pit enough people can't give enough because they're contributing to the vibration of the problem rather than to the vibration of the solution that was really big that's really big yeah I, I you know I can see that like it's like uh, I get an idea to contribute and I just go wham but before you go wham ask yourself the question what am I under the influence of is this a satisfying feeling am I moving toward solution it's this simple does this feel like it was an inspiration from source energy or is it an inspiration from somebody who Esther makes this decision almost every day as she's driving around whatever city she's in and there are people standing on the street often with a sign wanting money and Esther has reach the place where she can feel what receptive mode she's in when she offers it because sometimes even with something that seems like it's all the same there are variances even in that some of them are just going to go get more drugs right now some of them really want a sandwich and Esther can feel which is which do you see what we're getting at every question you ask has a source energy answer involved yeah. we're getting over time here so if you've got something clear on your no, mind we'll hear just, from you uh, I'll just give the rest of these and you can look at them if you want to do something about them you can I'll just give them to and if it, you get time if it, you get time if we have enjoyed our time with all of you yeah. immensely here today we have enjoyed the <laughs> vibrational wings that you flew in on and the difference in your point of attraction that's what we are most interested about we can feel that your awareness of yourself shifted a little bit today and that in your awareness of yourself shifting you've come more into vibrational alignment with your inner beings awareness of you and that's a big deal because your inner being has been focused with you flowing with you thinking about you listening to you and offering impulses and suggestions and soothing for as long as you've been in this physical body but the difference that has happened today is that you have comprehended what your awareness of your inner being means and most important you now have a definitive way of measuring moment by moment whether you are in alignment with that or not which means we haven't projected these vibrations to Esther before so give her a moment to find the analogy or the words which means that the leverage that we've been talking about 
the leverage of non-physical alignment that we've been talking about is so much more pronounced now than it has been before that you can expect you use a word quantum leap and we've never encouraged it but you can expect meaningful advances on things that matter most to you in a way that you have not experienced before in other words this is a time that we want to encourage your heightened expectation but not to the point that you allow yourself disappointment can you feel the fine line it's like Jerry's piping in he's got the best analogy he thinks it's appropriate time for it put your basket out there far enough that it thrills you when you make it but not so far that you can't make it good analogy you want to do whatever you can to keep the disappointment factor down and whatever you can to keep the satisfaction factor up it really is as simple as that so if you've been listening to us for a while and you've been seeing us talking or heard us talking about the emotional scale and with elation and love and appreciation all the way into that good feeling place and depression and grief all the way in that bad feeling place and right there smack dab in the middle of that emotional scale if you want to take a look it's in the ask and it is given book is satisfaction it says contentment but we mean the same thing by it which means that that really is the tipping point that really is the tipping point so often when you think of I'm so disappointed well you can't find the other end of that there's too much diversity in the vibrational variance or when you think of being unhappy and you want to be happy it's too much of a leap but more and more as you just ask yourself the simple question is this thought that I'm thinking satisfying or not and you develop an aptitude to know the difference then what will happen as you lean satisfying it will pick up speed to the point that you'll be able to make this equation and this relationship in emotions within yourself and this is what we wish for all of you we would like you to ask am I satisfied or am I grieving well it's a lot easier for you to find satisfaction on that end of the scale than it is the things that you think are the opposite of grieving so if you reach for satisfaction you're going to find it I'm either disappointed or I'm satisfied just let satisfaction be the whole other end of this scale just for a little while am I confused or am I satisfied just let satisfaction be what you're reaching for rather than clarity just satisfied and what's going to happen to you you're going to discover that you're having many more satisfying moments in time than you've been noticing and by activating them by consciously giving your attention to them all you have to do is get into satisfaction and you've opened yourself wholly to the current and energy of your inner being can you sort of get that which means points of clarity will begin to flow to you and the momentum of that positive energy will come on faster than it ever has before this is a way for you to clean up your vibrational variance it's a way to tune yourself to the frequency of your inner being more consciously so not only will you be improving your relationship between where you are and where you're wanting to be in terms of manifestations you will be more joyful moment by moment by moment by moment by moment and we just want to say that when you hang around in an attitude of satisfaction the universe knocks itself out to show you more and more and more and more to be satisfied about it's like sneaking in the back door it's like making an end run around something so as you leave here today and we are way over time we want to say to you if we were standing in your physical shoes there'd be two things that we'd be doing every day meditating and paying attention to our satisfaction level and then just be the witness of what you've already put in the vortex of the work that you've already done we've enjoyed this interaction more than any that has come before there is great love here for you and as always we remain stubbornly in your vortex